Welcome back, my friends, and today I have a battle here against Toronto Pure, and uh, this is a guy that is obviously um, kind of a staple on my uh, Discord, and as well as my Twitch live streams, and um, he's always a challenging battler, and we're playing the OU tier, and as you can see, he's going to bring a Rain team, and uh, yeah, Rain is always uh, challenging in its own right, so I have to hope that I can, um, well, overcome this fact. But anyway, there he is, Kadri, which I believe is a reference to his uh, Razor, no, Razor Leafs, uh, Maple Leafs team that he is a fan of, and uh, that is all I'm going to say about it. So, yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave with my Alakazam. This is Mega Alakazam, and I just want to get damage on this Pelipper, so I think I just go for a Psy Shock. Really wish I had Psychic now on this um, Alakazam, but uh, no, I have Psy Shock, which do last, because these Pelippers are always EV defensively, being that it has a pretty good defense stat. Can take some uh, physical hits, um, and I am getting uh, almost half, which is actually really impressive. How well that uh, you know, Pelipper still able to take it. But anyway, he's gonna go ahead and U-turn. Does an annoying amount of damage, obviously, because Alexander's been out of paper. But uh, yeah, in comes Kingdra now, and um, I'm just gonna go to my Tapu Bulu uh, because I do have the uh, Dragon type immunity, and I have the Water type resistance. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna go for a Hydro Pump or something. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it could be. Really anything, probably a Swift Swim one. But he ends up going ahead and popping off his Waturium Z. So this is probably the best thing I have to take. This still, in the rain, this is going to probably be a really, really heavy hit. And I have to hope that I can take it okay. And I take a little less than half. So not bad, all things considered. This is actually an Assault Vest Tapu Bulu. So that's why I take it so well. Um, I usually ran, I, I ran Choice Band a lot. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and predict this switch in a Ferrothorn here and go for the superpower. So that's a pretty nice prediction. Um, unfortunately for me, he does obviously have Iron Barb, so I'm gonna take some damage back from that. Um, and I do have my attack drop now, so I'm not entirely sure, after all that, uh, you know, recovery, that I can kill this Ferrothorn. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. I go for it, and I'm able to take it out, which is really critical. Ferrothorns are commonly used on rain teams. Uh, because they have a lot of resistances uh, to things that obviously most rain Pokemon are weak to. Um, so it's, it's a very good Pokemon. Plus, the rain weakens its uh, biggest weakness in fire. So um, being able to get rid of the Ferrothorn without it setting up Stealth Rocks is huge. So anyway, in comes my Celesteela um, against his Halucha. And um, yeah, that Acrobatics is not going to do a whole lot. Especially since he still has his items. So I guess he was just trying to hit my Tabu Bulu. Um... You know, he was predicting probably I would attack him to avoid him setting up, but no. Celesteela should wall this thing okay. Um, this is just a standard Leech Sheet and uh, Heavy Slam set um, with Toxic and Protect, which is kind of like the standard Celesteela. I want to get back to more of an offensive Celesteela at some point. I do kind of like, um, you know, offensive Celesteela a little bit. But, uh, yeah, for now, this is what I had, so this is what I brought. Um, and it ends up at, I mean, this thing's actually going to be kind of critical uh, to be able to defeat him. Thankfully, he doesn't have... I mean, he has t uh, this Tapu Koko, and that's about it, as far as electric types. Uh, this thing probably does have Thunder, though, in the ring team. Maybe not. I don't know. But either way, um, I end up missing the Toxic on this thing, which actually kind of sucks, because it would be nice to get residual damage on this Tapu Koko. It doesn't actually hurt my team a lot, but uh, I do have Tapu Bulu still. And like I said, I have the Assault Vest, so I don't think he can do much to me. Um... He ends up critting that Volt Switch, which actually is reduced now because I did get rid of his Electric Terrain. Um, so it's not obviously being used by that, but it does give him a free switch back into his Howlucha, which uh, obviously can threaten me. Um, but he is going to go ahead and switch right back out into Pelipper. I'm guessing he was predicting um, Celesteela to come in, and I believe that's what I do. Um, so that was a decent prediction for him. Um, Pelipper can obviously probably do some decent damage at Scald. Uh, but he also, of course, wanted to set up his, uh, you know, rain again. I'm like, you know what, let's just go for the Protect. Let's burn a turn here. Um, you know, burn a turn of uh, rain. Obviously, he's going to have the uh, Damp Rock, so the rain isn't going away, you know, after five turns, it gets eight turns. But, you know, one turn less of his, uh, you know, uh, weather condition would be good, especially because he has this Mega um, Swampert. So I'm going for the Leech Seed, and I end up getting the Swampert here on the Switch with it. And, uh, yeah, that's not horrible. Unfortunately, I still need something that can survive a Mega Swampert hit. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm not entirely sure he can kill my Celesteel in one hit. It's worth the risk for me just to go for the Toxic to get rid of this thing. Because it would give him a time limit. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm super afraid of this Mega Swampert right now. 
and I just need to make sure it doesn't sweep my whole team. So that's why I go for the Toxic. He ends up just going for the Stealth Rocks. So uh, that's a decent play for him because it's going to obviously limit my ability to switch, and especially since I don't have Stealth Rocks on his field. Um, but the good news is for me, I did get the Toxic Poison off, and he is going to go ahead and switch out now into his Tapu Koko. I don't know why he didn't just take a shot with Waterfall. I guess it had, you know, because he had Toxic Poison and all that. Plus, he knew I had Protect, right? And probably knew I was going to Protect. And I am going to just go ahead and Protect anyway against Tapu Koko. I want to see, you know, maybe scout a move. I'm trying to see what it's trying to do to me. He goes for a Thunderbolt, and now I'm just going to go ahead and switch out. I go out into my Tapu Bulu again. But like I said, it's Assault Vested. So I don't take that much from anything he does. Um, and obviously I can change his terrain. So, yeah. In, there's the uh, Volt Switch, but thanks to the Stealth Rocks, though, um, I'm still starting to look pretty low here in Tapu Bulu, and in comes his Howlucha again. And uh, I have to make the choice. Do I want to switch out again to save Tapu Bulu or not? And I decide to, and I go out into my Celesteela. It's pretty much an easy switch here into Celesteela. Um, and he is just going to try to go for the Acrobatics. I just try to finish off my Tapu Bulu, but I'm like, you know what? I really do kind of want a way to get rid of that terrain. Plus, I can always Death Fodder Tapu Bulu later if I need to. Um, so yeah, in comes his Coco again, and I believe I go... What do I go for? I think I go for a Toxic, but uh, this could be me remembering something later. Yes, I do go for the Toxic, and um, I get it off on the Tapu Coco. This was actually what I was predicting. Could have Heavy Slammed it too, but um, I figure that the, uh, at the very least, the Toxic Poison is going to limit the amount of turns. Uh, this Tapu Koko can stay in. I can go for the Protect now if I wanted to, um, and to get some residual damage off on that. But he's going to go ahead and try to set up his Halucha. I did try to go for the Protect, um, and as you can see, it has the Electric Seed, so he's going to raise his defense and stuff, but more importantly, that triggers his ability Unburden. So he's going to go ahead and go for the Swords Dance, and he does have plus one defense, like I said, um, and I try to go for the Toxic, try to give it a turn limit, and once again, I miss with the Toxic, which isn't good as he gets up with Swords Dance, and he's going to go for another one, and I'm starting to worry. I'm like, okay, this thing has Unburden, and now I just gave it two Swords Dances. I do have some priority on this team, but they are physical priority, so I just go for the Heavy Slam to get damage on it. I do have the Extreme Speed with the Choice Banded Zygarde. I have a Mock Punch with my um, Conkel Dur, which obviously is resisted. And I'm just going to go for the Toxic again now, and it ends up being great for me, because he goes for the Roost, um, I guess expecting me to heavy slam again, but no, this is amazing for me because now that this thing is poisoned, I know that it does have a turn limit. And even better than that, I go for the protect, and it's main attacking me with a high jump kick. So that Halucha gets completely wrecked, and uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. And um, obviously, I can't protect twice in a row. I know something's gonna have to take a hit and probably die from this thing. So I'm just gonna go into my Tapu Bulu. Um, this is a pretty good time to death fodder it as he just goes for the high jump kick which will KO Tapu Bulu, but it will leave the Halucha after the Toxic Poison to a point that I can easily revenge kill it. So in comes my Zygarde with my Choice Banded um, Extreme Speed, and that's what I'm going to do to try to kill this Halucha, uh, which is now sitting at red HP, and it will go ahead and get taken out. So Crisis averted, I let the Halucha set up, um, but it doesn't end up hurting me thanks to some savvy playing. So in comes his Pelipper again. And he's going to go ahead and set up his little drizzle thing. And, uh, yeah, I think I just go for an extreme speed. I stay in. I know that this thing's probably going to live it, but I want to get as much damage on the Pelipper as I can to limit his ability to set up rain later. So out it goes, and in comes Swampert. So this is kind of what he wanted to set up with. It does have the Toxic Poison on that Swampert, so I know that it probably can't, you know, survive long enough to sweep me. But it's still very, very dangerous. I was tempted to go for an extreme speed here, but I did want to lose Zygarde. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch out, and uh, yeah, in comes uh, this thing. Am I going to Heat Ran, knowing that the rest of his team can really... In actually, his entire team could just pretty much counter Heat Ran. Um, I need to Death Out or something. It ends up uh, buying me another turn because he Ice Punched, which uh, I resist. And then he's just going to go ahead and go for the Waterfall now to kill my Heat Ran, but that's fine. I was just looking for, uh, you know, a free switch at this point. And at this point, I'm really hoping that my Mega Elegazam can take care of the Swampert at this HP. Um, I have it to just above a uh, half, and um, if I want to avoid losing another Pokemon, I have to hope that Mega Alakazam can come here and KO. Um, obviously, I get to trace the Swift Swim, so now I have Swift Swim Alakazam, which I couldn't possibly go to town. If I can kill this Mega Swampert, I'm faster than his whole team, obviously, in the rain. Unfortunately, this Side Shock doesn't quite kill. 
And if I had Psychic, it probably would have killed. So, yeah, maybe I need to rethink Psyshock on my uh, Alakazam instead of go, you know, maybe go for Psychic instead, or both. But whatever. Um, the thing is also going to go down. I go into my Conkel Dur, and I end up going into Tampu Koko, which um, is fine. I mean, not really, actually. Seeing it's probably uh, counters me pretty well. But I am Assault Vested, so he just goes for the Volt Switch. I take that pretty well. I know that I'm Assault Vested. I think what I do is just go um, for the Drain Punch, and he ends up going into Pelipper, which is really, really odd. I have no idea why he would do that, knowing that Pelipper probably can't take a hit from my Conkel Dur. Um, and the rain is still up, so that was kind of a mistake for him, because now, uh, obviously, he's not going to get another chance to set up the rain. His uh, remaining Pokemon, I think, are this and Kingdra, and Kingdra re obviously really liked the rain, um, and uh, he got rid of his rain setter, and uh, it didn't even come in to, you know, replace the rain. So anyway, he's going to go ahead and uh, Dazzling Gleam on my switch into Zygarde. I went into Zygarde hoping that he would like Thunderbolt, but no, he's, he has that, and I didn't see the Dazzling before, so I was wondering if he had it. Um, unfortunately, he does. So he's going to be able to do a KO me, but the real reason I went in here, because I just really wanted to get um, some damage on the Tapu Koko, and uh, yeah, Extreme Speed will obviously be able to do that, and in comes my Celesteela now, and I do have Protect still, so I'm just going to go for that, hoping that his Tapu Koko will kill itself to the Toxic, and um, he does stay in, so that's nice, and uh, the Tapu Koko is going to go down, and his last remaining Pokemon will be Kingdra, and... Uh, Kingdra obviously can be a threat, but there is no rain, so he's not going to get the uh, boosted um, water type attacks, and additionally, um, yeah, I can be free to just set up on this thing, and if I can get uh, Leech Sheet and Toxic, it pretty much clinches the win for me, so yeah, I'm going to go for the Toxic first, because the Toxic will give him a turn limit, and that pretty much should clinch the win for me, now I'm going to go ahead and set up a Leech Sheet, actually what I should have done is go for the Protect here, I know that he's, um, Z move, but he still could have, I guess, setup. I don't know. Probably not, though. Not not on a uh, special Kingdra. Not a, on a Rain Sweeper, probably. Um, but whatever. I just go for the Leech Seed, which uh, leaves me kind of at low HP. Obviously, I can protect now, but um, Celesteel will probably still end up dying to a Hydro Pump after this. But it's it's re at this point, I know I still have Conkel Dur, and uh, Conkel Dur should be able to take a hit, especially with the Assault Vest, so. Um, I feel pretty confident anyway. Plus, I have the priority Mach Punch, and uh, this Kingdra, at that point, will be definitely withered down. So, um, Celestial gets a little bit more recovery here. I'm hoping it'll be enough, maybe, to live another Hydro Pump, uh, but it shouldn't matter. I end up going for the Protect here, and uh, I never get second Protects. It's a 50% chance, and I don't think I've ever gotten it once. I, I try for it every now and then, but I don't get it this time either. So, down goes my Celestial. And, uh, yeah, his Kingdra is now at red HP, which is, a uh, even, you know, I I'm pretty sure I could take a hit from this thing, but I don't really need to, because I have Mock Punch, which will be able to take care of it. So, good game there, Toronto Pure, entertaining as always, nice rain team, and, uh, today's question of the day is going to be this. What is your favorite Pokemon card? I assume that most of you have probably collected them at some point, if you still don't. When I was a kid... Um, obviously the games were like, the video games, Pokemon Red and Blue, or actually Red, in my case, was like my favorite game, but I also collected the cards a bit, um, and I ended up dig, I did have a Charizard, which ended up getting washed, and that was by far my favorite Pokemon card, because I always liked Charizard, I still like Charizard, um, it's a cool fire lizard thing, um, I know that some people, Quilliam doesn't like it, but. Back in the day, the, the you know base set Charizard was the was the card to have. Back when you didn't really know how to play, <laughs> at least I didn't. I didn't find out until you know a year or two later, um, and I played a little bit of the card game um, by the rules. I think I taught myself from the trading card game video game. Um, but yeah, so the Charizard I had ended up getting washed, got sent through the wash because I had it in my pocket and I still kept it, still used it in my deck. It was uh, very, very not pretty, but it's still probably my favorite card because its stats were high, man. 120 HP, it damage it did 100 damage. Um, I know that's probably not good anymore. In fact, I've seen the insane power creep in the Pokemon Trading Card Game. Um, I guess if you never collected Pokemon cards or you don't really care about Pokemon cards, I mean, I don't anymore. But um, I did at one point, so that's today's question of the day. And uh, if you don't care or never cared. Uh, you can just comment that. So see you guys again later. Bye.